Welcome back to the Triple Eight MF YouTube channel where today Mark's putting his feet up and I am taking over. I'm going to be doing a review of this beautiful Alfa Romeo. Are you going to, are you going to get involved or are you just going to stay there? Ah yeah, what do you reckon? Are you going to get involved? I found a place in the sun. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Funny guy. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. What a gorgeous day for it. It's, it's a perfect day and we're back in Hanningfield Reservoir. A lot of people have been asking me why I bought the 4C, including you. Yes, I want to know. You want to know. So this car only weighs 900 kilograms and the least amount of weight that you have, the more fun a car is because it's all about power to weight, not about just power. Okay. So you want something that's got a really light body but with a really powerful engine. And this one has a carbon tub which only weighs 65 kilogram, which is, I believe, the weight. Wow, that's me. So the that's you. The bottom of the car is me. So the carbon fiber tub is pretty fantastic technology because the only other supercar brand that uses a tub like this is McLaren. Yeah. And a McLaren is around a 200,000 pound starting price, whereas this on the road was around 55 to 62,000 pounds. Wow. Yeah, so this one was 62,000 pounds, it's got lots of extras, uh, but now they're 40,000 pounds and I think they are the absolute bargain junior supercar. So I call it a supercar. A lot of people have said it's not a supercar on Instagram, but I think it is a supercar and we're gonna show you why today. Okay. Okay. So I like this because this is a supercar that I potentially could afford at <laughs> some point in the near future. So I've got to sell you on this car, have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. I, well, you drove it down here and you weren't that enthused with it, but you didn't really get a good enough drive. Exactly. And I it was a little of... bit cold, a little bit um, foggy out. Well, I mean, to be honest, it was six o'clock in the morning, so I genuinely hadn't woken up. However, I also didn't get to properly put my foot down and right. smash it, and I can't ever fall in love with a car until I've Are given it Are you trying to say good... you want me to let you loose yeah. on my car? Okay. Pretty much. Danny? I mean, you're mad to let me, but... kill any people on their bikes while we're up. So you've got dynamic mode and then just the normal mode. We're in normal at the moment. This is the first time I've driven this car properly. And to me, compared to other supercars that I've driven, this feels a bit more like a rally car. It feels a bit heavier and it feels a bit grittier. I do feel like I could go on a dirt track with it though and it would be quite fun. Oh yeah, so we're gonna go into dynamic mode. Ooh! I didn't think I would feel that much of a difference going into dynamic mode, but... Woo! Yeah! So it doesn't have power steering, this car, which originally, I didn't really like it, it felt too heavy. It's not bothering me now. Do you know what though? I do just still feel a little bit like I'm like in super wacky races. We really feel the gear changes. So, one of these you can pick up for what, 40, 50, 60,000 pounds. Supercars generally, you know, you're looking at 200,000, 300,000 pounds. So this, you can feel you can feel the difference. This is a grittier car, but it seems that that's why some people like it. And now that I've had a good go on it, I get it. <laughs> like I get it. Woo woo! Well, I guess now I know how much this costs. I like it more as well. <laughs> it's like you know, it's realistic. You can dream of you. You can dream about this, and you can probably make it happen. Whereas getting yourself a three hundred thousand pound Lamborghini. It's just going to be a dream, isn't it? This is this is the reality. I actually I've totally come round on what Mark said about this being a much more fun car to drive. Like this morning, I was half asleep. We came down the motorway. I didn't really get to put my foot down. Whereas now, we're on the country roads and putting my foot down, we're we're get we're getting stuck in amongst it, and it feels like a fun car. Like he's right, you're right, I'm wrong. 
You're big, I'm small. Oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> so my turn to drive the 4C now. So as some of you will know from uh, Instagram, I used to have a McLaren 650S Coupe, which is actually very similar to this car. It's got the carbon fiber tub, turbocharged engine, and the power delivery feels very, very similar. When you put your foot down in this, you just take off. And it's all down to the lightness of the carbon fiber tub. This car is brilliant around corners because there's just not a lot of weight to carry through the corner. And the brakes are very responsive as well. Again, because you're not actually hauling up a big weight when you're braking. The steering does tend to veer left and right. There is a fix to that. And the exhaust does sound a little bit like the farting, I do admit, it pops. Some people like that, some don't. I'm looking at maybe getting uh, an upgrade to the exhaust. But overall, I really can't fault this car. Yeah, it doesn't have power steering, um, but you really only notice that when you're doing a three-point turn. See, this is when oh, it like weighs a ton. He's gonna love this if this is recording, a 25 point turn. Beautiful, beautifully executed if I don't say so myself. Whew, finally, it is heavy to turn, geez. Or oh, you're in a tight spot and you're maneuvering. Apart from that, you really don't feel the heavy weight of the steering wheel. And it does give you a really nice feel when you're driving. What else do I love about it? I love the look. I really haven't seen many of these on the road myself. And every time someone sees me driving by, they stare and they look and they take photos. And this car actually gets more attention than my Lamborghini. And that is no exaggeration. I'm driving along in the Alpha 4 scene. and people stop, take photos everywhere. They do in the Lamborghini, but more so with this. And they seem to get more excited about this probably just because there's hardly any on the road. I think full production was 3,000 worldwide. I think there's a 1,000 in Europe. I don't know how many in the UK, but there's not that many. The interesting thing I think is what can you get for this money? So this was new 62,000, secondhand 40. What can you buy for 40? Or shall I say, what was I considering? I looked at the BMW M2, great car, four seats, but they didn't use the motorsport engine in the M2 that I was looking at. They've just brought out the M2 competition, which has the M4 engine in, but that's now over 50,000 pounds. So quite a big difference in price. I've driven the M2 in the past. It's a great car, but it's not as involving as this. It doesn't feel anywhere near as exhilarating or exciting. It's not a junior supercar. I think the M2 is a hot hatch kind of slash coupe it's not a junior supercar. For me, this is a junior supercar because of the carbon fiber tub, because of the mid-mounted engine. It is a junior supercar. Yes, it doesn't have 500 brake horsepower that a lot of supercars have, or 600, but the 240 brake horsepower that it does have accelerates it from 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds. You never really feel you need more power. That's the interesting thing with this car. In a lot of cars, you put your foot down, they feel fast, but you always feel like, oh, it could have a little bit more power. Not that the 650S ever felt like that. But this car, on most roads, it just doesn't feel like you need any more power. So when I was, uh, when I was a young lad, I used to have a Fiesta XR2, and my friend had a Fiat Uno Turbo. And we used to love going in that Fiat Uno Turbo. And it was a very similar feeling to this. It felt fun because it was a lightweight car with a turbocharged engine. And if you've been driving cars for a long time, you'll realize that cars have got faster and faster. And you feel the speed less and less in modern cars. As in, you need to go faster to enjoy the speed more. And I think this has gone back to the basics of when I was younger, when you'd buy a hot hatch and you'd have fun in it because it was light and it was fast. And this almost is that, gives you that same kind of sensation as a hot hatchback. 
but it's not. It's a mid-engine junior supercar. So we're in natural mode. So it has DNA, dynamic, natural, and all weather. The all weather is good when it's raining because let's face it, mid-engine cars with rear wheel drive are not great in the rain. So it's always good to put it into all weather mode when the weather is damp or raining. So we're in natural, we're gonna put it now into dynamic mode. And immediately it feels a little bit more responsive, a little bit faster, a little bit noisier. But I have to tell you, and this is really, some people will find this really surprising. I bought the Lamborghini Performante Spider and I have this and the Performante Spider parked in the garage. When I walk into the garage to take one of the cars out, this is the car that I look to take out most days. It puts a real smile on my face. The Lamborghini is a big, heavy car. It's wide and it's very expensive. And when you're driving a car that's expensive, you're always slightly cautious that you're gonna hit the car, people are gonna scratch the car, you have to be careful where you park it, you don't wanna go through width restrictions, you have to be really careful over speed humps. And essentially it means that you just don't take it out all of the time. This car is fun, it's, it's not expensive, and you can just have a lot of fun in it and you really don't care about going through width restrictions. A little bit wide at the front, I have to say. I can't think of anything else that I've driven that's as much fun as this. I mean, I've driven a Lotus Elise in the past, but the Lotus Elise feels like a really track-focused car. This feels like a road car, and it feels really comfortable. The seats are really lovely. They don't go back a lot, but I can put up with that. So apart from an M2, what else? Can you compare to the Alpha 4C? Well, the only other car I think that's really comparable is the Lotus Elise. A lot of people say the Porsche Cayman, but I've driven a Porsche Cayman. The Cayman is a great car, but again, a Cayman GTS, I reckon you're talking about 50, 55,000. So again, a lot more money than the Alpha 4C. What's really nice about the Alpha 4C is that they've stopped making them. So they made them, I think, from 2014 to 17, three years of production, and now they've stopped making them. So I think this car will hold its value in the future and maybe even appreciate good examples. Yellow, I love the yellow because it really stands out a little bit like a little Ferrari. They do them in uh, pearlescent white is really popular on the launch edition. And uh, there's a couple of black ones which look really good. But I think if you're gonna get a little fun car, then why not have a fun color? Fuel consumption is fantastic in this car. I mean, if you jump out of a Lamborghini or a McLaren, you know, you, you're jumping in, you're going to the petrol station every, uh, every couple of days. In this, you can drive for a week without having to go to a petrol station, even if you're driving it hard. But it's so involving to drive. It just gives you so much feedback and it sounds great and it sounds really involving. It really puts a smile on my face every time I get into the car. I would actually say that the only car you can compare this to is a McLaren 12C. Why do I say that? Well, it's got the carbon tub, it's got direct steering, and it's fun to drive. Now, the McLaren 12C is really, really cheap now compared to when it was new. I think they're coming in at around 85,000 pounds for a used car. Now, just remember if you ever do buy a McLaren to have a warranty on the car, because if they go wrong, they're expensive. But if you pick up a McLaren 12C for 85 grand, I think that's the closest you're gonna to get to an Alpha 4C. If you don't believe me, go and test drive an Alpha 4C, take out a McLaren 12C, and tell me which one you think is more fun. I had two 12Cs, and I have to say this comes pretty close to giving me the thrill of that McLaren. Yeah, you were right. You were right. Right about what? You were right about the car. I changed my mind. You changed your mind, I right? I did. So, just to justify it, when I got in it this morning, I couldn't really go for it. And when we took her back out on the road, 
The thing that bothered me this morning, which was the fact that it felt quite heavy and a bit gritty, once I got going with it, that was actually what I liked about it. I get it. I get it now. So the actual heavy steering makes you really connected to the road when you're actually on it and you're going hard round corners. Yeah. It makes you feel more in touch with the road, right? Yeah. So I was right, okay. Yeah. What about the colour? Have you changed your mind on the colour? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Can you see these flies? Flies love yellow. They I'm love, not... They love you as well. <laughs> what, uh, so what? <laughs> What, no, what I'm colour afraid, would you choose? I'm afraid that um, the yellow, I don't think it'll ever grow on me, I'm sorry. That's I don't have okay. a black or a white. Mm. Keep it simple. Black or white. Black is pretty rare in this car. The noise grew on me. It makes a nice noise. It makes a nice noise. Really? I'd like to know in the comments what you guys think about the colour. The colour is really rare. There's uh, not many yellow coupes in the UK, so that's pretty rare. Okay, I'll yeah. stop making faces. So basically, if I gave you the keys, would you like to take it home with you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say no, am I? No. I'm not going to say no, so I get to take this one home, yeah? Yeah. Is that my payment for coming <laughs> on your YouTube channel? <laughs> Boom, I got a car! You, no, you're paying me <laughs> for the publicity. <laughs> right, well, thank you so much for having me. I'm looking forward to taking her home. Would you like to be on the channel again? Sure. What would you like to film next time? Well, am I going to get a car if I come back? Another car? You'll get another car, yeah. I'd like to go in the Lamborghini. The Performante Spider. Yes, please. Have you driven a Lamborghini before? I might have. Yeah, which one? I drove the Ventor. Adventor. Uh, ad, 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 Adventor. Oh, Adventor. You have to be able to say it if you want to drive it. No, I'd, I've driven that one before, which I liked. And the it was, V12. It was fun. It was quite a long time ago. Right. So I'm interested to see what the Performante. Okay, well, let's like. get you back. I'll tell you what, I'll do a deal with you. If yeah. you do a really good sign out, we'll invite you back to drive the Lamborghini. How's that? Ooh, pressure's oh, on. Drum roll. Pressure's on. <laughs> well, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe in the link below to Triple Eight MF, and we'll see you soon.